Hi, George Williams, CEO of Reliability X, and today we're going to talk about reactive versus proactive. This terminology is utilized a lot in the maintenance and reliability space to determine whether or not you're doing the right things. And people say, oh, are we being reactive or are we being proactive? And sometimes those lines are a little gray. So let's explore this. If we look at the basic definition of being reactive, this basically means you're not in control. This is you responding to a scenario or your organization responding to your assets. And so any response where you are not in control of what's happening is reactive in nature. And so we look at things like corrective maintenance or breakdown maintenance as being a reactive function, unscheduled work as a reactive function. Let's look at what proactive looks like. In order to be proactive, this basically means that you are creating the scenario in which you are in control and you are creating the responses. And so in order to be proactive in maintenance and reliability, you have to show and demonstrate that your system is controlling the environment. Again, this can be a little gray, so let's do a little bit of comparison. Reactive versus proactive. Let's look at a couple of things and decide if those things are reactive in nature or if they are proactive in nature. And so if I am performing a root cause analysis, am I reactive or proactive? Well, if there was a significant event in the organization and you decided to investigate it and do a root cause analysis, we would say typically that you are reacting to the scenario. The event already occurred and you are now reacting to it. However, if you as an organization have decided that root cause analysis is the way to go to investigate and mitigate the future from happening over and over again, uh, your past from happening over and over again, then putting in a standard for root cause analysis, getting people trained and to ensure that your defects are eliminated from being recurring events, that is proactive. So simply having an event that creates a scenario where an investigation happens in and of itself is a reactive function. Proactively as an organization, if you have provided people training, if you have written a standard that says under these scenarios, we're gonna do RCA, those things are proactive activities. However, the execution of the RCA, reactive. The tasks, the outcomes, and if you mitigate future events, that's proactive. Let's look at something like your regular PMs. PMs are considered to be proactive, right? I mean, we are proactively mitigating failures by reducing or eliminating wear component issues from our system. We are inspecting those components. We are replacing them when necessary. We are lubricating. We're doing all the things necessary to help mitigate or control our future. What if our PMs are just OEM recommendations? Well, if they're addressing wear components, we would still consider that to be proactive. And so here's where we start to see some gray lines. More proactive would be taking your critical assets and putting them through some failure mode, whether it's an FMEA or an RCM approach to identifying failure modes and getting the best strategy where we're utilizing predictive maintenance technologies. And so these things would be considered more proactive than just using the OEM recommendations. However, they're not reactive in nature. Now, if we have some event that occurs on site and we then put in a PM in place, the putting in the new PM is reactive but all future activities associated to that PM are proactive. So you can see how clear this really becomes, right? This is just cut and dry. It's not cut and dry. Let's break this down into the simplest terms. Whatever you're doing today, 
If you take steps to make tomorrow better, if you take steps to create control or more control where you are moving from the assets where you move from the assets managing us to we manage the assets, you are proactively taking steps. You are taking steps towards asset management and asset management tends to lead to improved reliability. And so it doesn't really matter what you classify these things. Are we proactive? Are we reactive? Everything you do in response to something else in corrective maintenance is reactive but you can have amazing corrective response standards and expectations. And you have proactively created control around your reactive maintenance. So it's not cut and dry, it is not clean, it is gray all over the place. If you are making tomorrow better than today and creating control to go from the assets manage us to we manage the assets, then you are proactively improving your process. I don't care what people term it. I don't care how gray the lines are. Go be better tomorrow than you are today and you'll become more reliable.